Welcome back guys, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is three more than twice the smallest side. If the perimeter is 30 centimeters, find the area of the triangle. Okay, so let's draw a uh, right angle triangle like that. And let's try to label this with uh, either some numbers or some variables. So we're told the hypotenuse of this triangle is three more than twice the smallest side. Now the smallest side can either be the base or the height. Let's uh, assume in this case that the height is the smallest side. It doesn't really matter in the end, but just for simplicity's sake, height is smaller than the base. And we know the hypotenuse is the longest side. So how about we let the smallest side, the height, equal x? Well, if the height is x, then we know that the hypotenuse is three more than twice the height, the smallest side. So it would be 2x plus 3. Three more than twice the smallest side. And then notice we're not really told anything about the base, how it relates to the height or how it relates to the hypotenuse. So let's label it m, just another variable. You could choose any variable you want. So x is the height, m is the base. Problem is, is that notice that we have two variables now we're working with. We're working with x and we're working with m. So that's a bit of a problem. It's nice if we can get everything in terms of one variable. And we actually can because we're told the perimeter of this triangle is 30 centimeters. So that means that all the sides added together has to equal 30. So that means x, this side, plus m, that side, the base, plus the hypotenuse has to equal 30. And now notice in this case, we can isolate for this m. And then we're gonna have everything in terms of x. So let's first collect some like terms. So two, uh, x plus two x, is 3x, so we'll have m plus 3x plus 3 equals 30. And then let's isolate for this m here. So if we bring the 3x over, the 3 over, 30 minus 3 gives us 27, and then the positive 3x turns into minus 3x, like that. So m is equal to 27 minus 3x. So instead of having m here, we can now label this side as 27 minus 3x, like that. And now notice all of the sides are in terms of one variable. So the way we did that was we used the perimeter to find an expression for this side here. Now we have to find the area of this triangle. We know the area of a triangle is what? Base times height divided by two. But notice that we don't have the actual measurements for these sides. These sides are still in terms of variables. So we're actually gonna have to solve what these sides first are in terms of centimeters, and then we could plug in the base and the height into the area formula. Question is, how are we going to be able to get numerical values for these sides? Well, because this is a right angle triangle, Pythagoras theorem has to hold. So what we can do, I'm actually going to erase this, I'll bring it back after. We could take x squared plus this side squared, so 27 minus 3x squared, and that has to equal the hypotenuse squared, right? a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And now notice that this is a quadratic equation. We can just expand everything, bring it over to one side, and solve for x. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll have x squared plus this here we'll have to FOIL. So 27 minus 3x times 27 minus 3x. What's that going to be? 27 times 27, that is 729. 27 times negative 3x gives us negative 81x. Negative 3x times 27 gives us neg uh, negative 81x again. And then negative 3x times negative 3x gives us positive 9x squared. And then uh, 2x plus 3 
times 2x plus 3. That would be what? That would be 4x squared uh, plus 6x plus 6x plus 9, like that. Okay, and uh, let's bring everything over to the uh, left side. So all these express, uh, expressions, let's bring over to the left side. Um, let's collect some like terms first. So x squared plus 9x squared, that gives us 10x squared. Negative 81x minus 81x, that gives us negative 162x. And we got this plus 729 here equals 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Then bring these over. 10x squared minus 4x squared. This positive 4x squared turns into negative. That would be 6x squared. And then uh, negative 162x minus 12x. When you bring it over, it becomes negative. Uh, that would be what? Minus 174x. And 729 minus 9. That gives us positive 720 and that's going to equal zero. And then from here, this is a quadratic equation. So from here, you could actually plug it in to the um, quadratic formula if you want. I think this is actually going to factor smoothly. So we could take out a six, so we'll have x squared minus uh, 174 divided by six would give us what? Uh, 20... Uh, 9? I think 29 works, right? 29 times 6 gives us 174. Uh, and there's an x here. And then 720 divided by 6, that gives us a positive 120. And this is going to equal 0. And then uh, from here, this will actually factor smoothly. So this would be x minus 5, x minus 24. That's going to equal 0. It's negative 24x minus 5x gives us negative 29x. And then negative 5 times negative 24 gives us positive 20. And then from here, easy to tell, x is either 5 or x can be 24. So notice that we got two answers for x, so we actually have to test those. So coming back to this triangle here, let's erase this. Notice if x is equal to 5, so that's the height of the triangle, what are these other sides going to be? So the height is 5, what's the base going to be? Well, the base would be 27 minus 3 times 5, that x value of 5. So 27 minus 15, that gives us 12. What would the hypotenuse be? If we plug in 5 here, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3 gives us 13. So those are the dimensions of the triangle when x is equal to 25. What about when x is equal to 24? Well, the height which is what x is, would be 24. What would the base be? The base would be 27 minus 3 times 24. And that would give you a negative number. And we can't have a negative base. That would not make sense. So we actually ignore this answer for x, that x value of 24, because it's not going to work out in the word problem. For this quadratic equation, uh, in an abstract form, that is a solution, but you always have to relate it back to the scenario you're dealing with if you're working on a word problem, right? So these here are the dimensions that we are working with. And since we have the dimensions now, we could find the area, which is what we were asked to find initially. Area is what? Base times height divided by 2. So base is 12, the height is 5 divided by 2. That gives us 12 times 5 is 60 divided by 2 gives us 30. So 30 centimeters squared is the area. Actually the area is the same as the uh, perimeter, at least the number is. And that's just a coincidence. That's not always going to happen. Right? But 30 centimeters squared is the uh, 
is the answer. So fairly tricky question. The trickiest part was probably getting an expression for that third side using the perimeter, just knowing what to do. The algebra is not difficult, it's just knowing what to do. And once you have an expression for that third side, everything is in terms of one variable. Pythagoras theorem has to hold. Solve for x. You get two values for x, but x equals 24. That's not going to work because of this side here. So x is 5. Plug in x value of 5. You get the dimensions of the triangle. We actually didn't even need the hypotenuse. We just need the base and the height because we're finding the area. And then once you have the base and the height, you can find the area 30 centimeters squared.